Some parents and students of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School are filing a federal civil rights lawsuit today, which alleges several Broward County officials, quote, failed to stop the shooter during that attack almost five months ago. This, as that same community of students and survivors, has been working to turn their pain and experiences into a grassroots movement. They're calling it the Road to Change, where they stop in cities all across America to talk about gun safety and to help register people to vote. And just a few days ago in Dallas, the students recorded a tense conversation with what they call counter-protesters, members of a gun rights group called Open Carry Texas. The students were challenged on issues like mental health, arming teachers, and what happens next is remarkable. Would it be accurate to, say, to characterize what you're saying is that guns are part of the problem, but it actually goes a whole lot deeper than the guns? This is a very nuanced issue, uh, but I think the easy access in some of these areas to these firearms does escalate the violence, especially in Chicago. Those 150 hours of training mean nothing in that one's inside. That's because you don't rise to the occasion, you fall to your most basic level of training. Exactly. You know, and no amount of training can train you out of that instinct. And that's my, big, my biggest reluctancy to uh, specifically putting more guns in schools, which I'm sure you guys can understand. You know? Uh, I mean, I don't necessarily agree with it, but I, I, see where you're, I can see where you're coming from. Exactly. I, I respect your, your opinion. I respect your opinion. That's fine. Well, well that's why I asked them in the, from the get go uh, what their agenda was as far as, you know, Democrat policies or whatever. That's what I asked them, and they said they're not anti gun, they're just for common sense, whatever. But that's why we've been debating the whole time. But they're not, they're literally not trying to take guns away from That's what I hear, anyways. But, you know, you yeah. hear a lot of things from inside. We hear a lot from your side, too. Yeah. I know not this, is, this is what creates America. This is what America is about. Come on, come on together. Come on. Our revenge just ended. Our revenge has ended. With me now, Matt Deitch. He is a former student, one of those who was at the center of that conversation. Matt, uh, you are in that video. We see it end with a handshake. Tell me what that man in red, the red hat, said to you. Uh, the man in the red hat at the end of the conversation told me that this was the most American thing he'd ever experienced, the ability for us to come together and actually have a conversation about how we can actually save lives. And with these counter-protesters, there tend to be very few of them, but they, are, they spout the same talking points that the NRA does, the same misguided truths, and they attempt to sell us more guns. And we tell them why that is not the way that we actually ensure public safety. Did you feel like they were open to listening to you? At first, they weren't, uh, because they spouted hateful things at our people coming to attend our events. And so we decided to try and engage them and talk to them about why they had so much hate. Uh, these groups are full of people who are they are racist, they are white supremacists, they are misogynistic. They, they come from a place of heavy ignorance. And a lot of this is just a misinformation. They are misguided. Through education and through sympathizing for the people that are, we are losing, we can come together and actually overcome this. Did you have any eye-opening moments or as you've been traveling and talking to different groups, um, are you learning more about the other side of the gun debate and their point of view? Here, here's the thing about the other side of the gun debate. A lot of the talking points are incredibly misguided. Uh, and we have to live in reality. We have to live in the country and what is happening right now. And what is happening right now are people are dying. 96 people die every day from gun violence. And I know a lot of those are suicides and that fact gets thrown at me. But things like red flag laws, universal background checks, extended waiting periods can help save those lives too. And so our policies that we present on MarchForOurLives.com tell you exactly how you can come together and help save lives. And so when we have these conversations, when they're telling us, oh, arming teachers is the right way to solve this problem, arming teachers is giving up. Arming teachers is saying that there's no way to prevent a bad person from coming into the school and attempting to kill children. And that is not what we are standing up for. We're standing up to actually say, no, this is not normal. We can stop this from happening if we come together and we actually talk about the policies that will work. Matt Deitch, thank you very much for your time. Coming thank you up. so much for having me.